Should the White House, the Biden administration, get involved? Uh, well, my advice, uh, for what it's worth, is not to be involved. Uh, basically, the White House does not have, not only this White House, but White Houses in general, uh, don't have great track records in terms of getting involved in labor disputes, unless those labor disputes are so serious that they threaten the economy overall. Uh, and, uh, you know, you have to go back years uh, to the Truman administration before you see something like that. Now, I would say uh, the Biden White House should stay away from this one. Uh, it could be very costly, uh, but both sides know exactly what they are getting into. And they are very, very, very sophisticated in terms of handling a strike and handling labor management relations. Uh, on the note that it could be costly for the U.S. economy, couldn't it also be costly for President Biden in the sense that, in general, the American public doesn't have enormous confidence in his handling of the economy? There was a new CNN poll showing that uh, some 60 percent of Americans believe he's actually hurt the economy. Uh, well, Boris, first of all, as a factual matter, the economy is actually in very, very good shape right now. Uh, inflation is way, way down. There is no sign of a recession. Uh, this is as close to a Goldilocks economy as I have seen in my many years of providing economic analysis and advice. Uh, but beyond that, uh, obviously, if you have a prolonged strike that costs $5 billion or more in just 10 days, uh, in terms of not only the workers and manufacturers, but also suppliers and consumers, uh, it could have a negative effect. Uh, the political fallout could be a negative, obviously, but the economic fallout uh, would be much more serious. Yeah. On the question of perception, though, regarding the U.S. economy, you are right. We've not seen the recession that many had been worried about for several years. But does the White House need to do more to show the work that they've done to enhance the economy and to provide things like the Infrastructure Act or the Inflation Reduction Act when so many believe that President Biden is hurting the economy? Well, I would say, you know, again, these are the messaging issues are legion, uh, Boris. I mean, every every administration is frustrated inevitably because it's not getting its message out. Uh, I think the Biden administration uh, could presumably do a much better job. You've got this, uh, these extraordinary, uh, uh, extraordinary achievements, not only the CHIPS Act, uh, the Infrastructure Act, uh, the Inflation Reduction Act with uh, huge solar and wind and non-carbon based uh, initiatives that are going to be very, very helpful in terms of fighting climate change, which we're all suffering from and all dealing with. And at the same time, we're, we've avoided a recession uh, and brought inflation way down. I think there's a lot to cheer about. Uh, and so I, uh, you know, I can't advise the Biden administration, obviously, on exactly what to say or how to say it. Uh, but I do hope that the public pays a great deal of attention over the, over the coming months, because we've got an election coming up in 14 months that could be one of the most critical elections in American history. And quickly, Robert, your impressions on what it would take from both sides to prevent a costly strike? Well, look, uh, the big three automakers uh, in the United States uh, have over the last 10 years, they've made a huge amount of money, about $250 billion in the first six months of this year alone, $21 billion. There's a huge amount of money. And yet uh, workers, auto workers are still back in uh, in 2009, 2010. Uh, they've had very, very little by way of a raise. Uh, the CEOs of the big three, uh, they have, uh, they're earning about 29, 28, 25 billion, a million dollars a year. Uh, just the CEOs, we're just talking about the chief executive officers. Uh, and they've had a raise of about 40% over the last four years. So if I were a UAW worker, I would be clamoring. I'd say, now is the time. You've been doing so well. Now is the time for a major raise, uh, a, lo a lot of benefits that I have foregone for years. Uh, I should be getting right now because uh, why should the CEOs, CEOs and top executives be doing so well and the shareholders be doing so well and everybody else be doing so well? But I, as a worker doing all the work, I'm not doing so well. It's about time I did. That's what uh, the auto workers probably are saying to themselves. Robert Reich, we appreciate the perspective. Thanks for joining us.